Okay guys, here we are with more Yu-Gi-Oh! Millennium Duels, and I'm here to tell you what my thoughts are about between what my thoughts are between the two starter decks from Decade Duels. And the nowadays uh Yu-Gi-Oh! Millennium Duels starter deck. Now uh first off, um there seems to be a yeah, 14 more normal monsters, and we got, uh, I'm trying to do math here guys, sorry, uh, six, seven more, seven less effect monsters, six less spells, and one less trap. So, but we did gain two X seeds and a decently good synchro monster but at this we didn't have an extra deck so the benefits of the deck that we have now uh, we have more playable defense stuff basically but you know it's oh great but normal monsters are kinda not the greatest thing when you're playing Yu-Gi-Oh granted we do have um, these two XYZs, but I don't know. I don't like their choices that they did with this. Also, um, another good thing is they have the double cyclone black pendant thing. They have enough jitsu breaks, I think, to protect you. Um, they have that one spell card right here that helps you get a boost. So that's some good bonuses. I didn't know there was Bite Shoe in here, by the way. Change attack or defense of one monster. Wow, that's not even a good effect either. Uh, I think the best card out of the star deck, personally, would be out of the main deck. It would be the four star ladybug, and because I think it does a lot more than. Jitsu Break might, but I don't know, it would be Jitsu Break or the 4 star Ladybug as my favorite. For the extra deck, I would have to give it to Sky Pegasus. I actually really like this card because of the fact that it once per turn effect, your opponent gets to choose what happens, but you detach one and they either take a thousand or they destroy their monster gets destroyed. Now, you're like, well, why is that a good thing? Well, one, your opponent loses life points, and if they can't decrease the life points, you can easily just take out stuff like Marshmallow or Spirit Reapers. Um, so yeah, I really think this is probably the best card in extra deck. I do give them some props, as most of the cards in here are level 3s and 4s. And there's two level one tuners. What I don't give them props for is they give us a Firewing Pegasus, which he has decent attack. But I mean, El Metro Hero Neos actually is a thousand times better than this. Not to mention you can Miracle Fusion with that and this. You're, you're not going to see a Firewing Pegasus. <laughs> Let's be realistic here, guys. No one's going to be playing Firewing Pegasus. There's no one. And uh, Battle Steer, as I said before, realistically, no one's gonna play Battle Steer. And 1800 just for five stars? What are they thinking? Come on now. At least with the other deck, it wasn't like this where you had like three tribute stuff that you need a tribute for better, stronger monsters. Uh, not to mention some of their choices and monsters are kind of like really weak. Granted, XYZ monsters usually have a bunch of weak monsters, but come on, guys! Like you'll get destroyed really quickly because you have 22 normal monsters 
So that is a 22 out of 40 chance. You could decrease that by 22. That'd be 11 out of 20 chance of drawing a normal monster. You have a 3 out of 20 chance of getting a spell. And you have 7 out of 40 chance to get a trap. And you have 1 out of 8 chance to get a effect monster. So, yeah, not that great, but it is definitely a good thing if you're trying to get started and trying to grind some cards. But when you get later on in the deck, in the duels like I have, they really don't go easy on you and this is not going to cut it. It really isn't. Because they will probably destroy this crud out of you if you tried using this. Just saying. But of course you're supposed to have more cards and upgrade your deck but with the randomness in cards it's not really anything impressive. So if you're going to use this I would get rid of the 30,000 year old turtle. Get rid of battle steer. If you really must keep in the fire wing and try to take out all the weaker guys like uh where is he? Skull Stalker Acid Crawler I mean there's other and better choices if you had to resort to using this deck for any reason. So yep. Uh Yeah, I think that's all I really have to say about this. Um, so for this, I really can't give it too high of a score. I'd probably like 5 out of 10 thing. Eh. So, going to the Deku Duels deck. One, four of the cards are banned. But that's not a problem. You can easily replace those with something else. And... Quite frankly, I mean, look at this lineup. We don't have any level 5s that are really out of the ordinary that you need to summon. Let's see, you got 4, 1, 4, 4, 1 level 7, 4, 4, 3. I mean, it's a random mishmash of stuff, but it's a little more consistent than wherever this is. I mean, this is like, I don't know. I mean, it just really isn't that consistent with that. This, however, I mean, granted, you can't do the Foolish Burial Monster Reborn thing, but you can do Foolish Burial Call the Haunted, which is the same exact thing. Also, you can run two MSTs, run a, two Dust Tornadoes, uh, you can use Mind Control, but that beats the whole purpose of it, so uh, you can run something else. Lightning Vortex is always an option, and whatever, so, but with this you can easily get over some stuff that you can't with the other deck. I mean, it's a little more consistent. Some of these stuff get over the annoying stuff that you can't get rid of. They have uh, really better traps set up. I mean, let's compare the traps a little bit. Oh, no, I don't want to load the recipe. Let's create the traps. So we have something that destroys face downs, something that destroys face up attack position monsters that aren't normal, this that destroys another monster if your card is sent from the field to the grave, uh, one card that puts stuff in defense, and something that gives your monster 700 until the end phase. And you can do battle damage. So looking at this, uh, I don't know. I really don't feel the goodness coming out of that. As for these traps, however, you have bottomless. Gets rid of a bunch of stuff at once if you needed to. Dust tornado gets rid of like back row. Uh, jar of greed. <laughs> Even though I don't care for it, it allows you to draw a card, which I'm pretty sure 
the other yeah the other deck doesn't have a draw a card basically uh let's see just to break you only need one in this deck kind of i mean two would be nice if you don't have mirror force but you can technically use elemental hero wild heart and summon all these guys out i mean look at your lineup for normal monsters you could even use neos for this that's how good that lineup is a little bit granted there's not as many normal monsters so just to break isn't really as great as mirror force in this situation but you know i mean even if you just see break look at what you're left with nothing really that stands out i mean your highest level that is a level highest attack is level four is the beautiful headhuntress i think and then oh no no guardian of the throne room is the highest and then second would be battle steer but you get the tribute one and then fire wing which would be third and your big defense would be this but i mean realistically how are you not getting over this so uh you have scarabs which destroys stuff you have submarine roid which attacks over and into the direct link you have steamroid which is good this gains you light points this brings back traps this you know i could go on i give this a 6 out of 10 really i personally would play this just add the, the add some cards or the spells and there you go so which one would I rather prefer I prefer the decade duels over the initial deck granted if they put the four star in here instead of scarabs which uh, that's kind of a debatable thing you know scarabs is continuously destroying stuff four star just wrecks the whole field so um, so I think the winner here is, uh, Deku Duels for their star deck, because this initial deck, uh, I, I really don't like it that much. So, yeah. If you, so yeah, if you're looking for a starter deck to play, I would recommend the Deku Duels deck, and just replace those spell cards with something you can use. Alright guys, so I hope you enjoyed this video. Leave any comments in the section down below. Uh, tell me your thoughts. Which do you prefer? And here they are one more time. Because personally, I like this one. But, I don't know. It's up to you guys. And I will catch you guys next time. Shackle X55, signing out.